A Mexican court has sentenced a man who approved flawed construction work at a school where 26 people died in a 2017 earthquake to 208 years in prison. 19 children were among those crushed to death when the private Reb Saman Elementary School in the capital collapsed. Here's a summary of the article. A Mexican court has sentenced a man who approved flawed construction work at a school where 26 people died in a 2017 earthquake to 208 years in prison, prosecutor said. 19 children were among those crushed to death when the private Reb Saman Elementary School in the capital collapsed after the 7.1 magnitude quake. Juan Mario Velarde, described as the director responsible for works, approved the structural safety of the school without carrying out the necessary tests and despite construction irregularities, the Mexico City Prosecutor's Office said. He was sentenced for his criminal responsibility in the crime of homicide over the 26 deaths, it said in a statement on Wednesday. Despite knowing that there were serious structural risks, Velarde allowed the school to continue operating, Lara said. In October, school owner and head Monica Garcia Villegas was sentenced to 31 years in prison for culpable homicide. She was arrested after it was discovered that she had built a large apartment on top of the classrooms, the weight of which is thought to have contributed to the building's collapse. This post received a score of 3,900, with an upvote ratio of 98%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. If he approved the construction of the prison too, he might have a chance to go out earlier. He should get the blueprints tattooed on him before he goes. It'll have a TODO mark right at the sweet spot where he forgot to check. Probably just rubber stamped it and never set foot inside. Maybe with good behavior it will be only 150 years. It feels like the system really encourages scapegoating. Government officials who look the other way down and force rules or take bribes are just as liable. Likely the guy sentenced wasn't the real decision maker. In many places, engineers and architects are held accountable for the integrity and safety of their constructions. When people see an engineer's approval, they take it as a safe judgment because engineers are held to exacting standards of practice and certification. If you do any construction, you have to, at some point, trust that the planner has some idea of what's safe. In this case, they didn't follow standard procedure and didn't do safe work. Others have also been held liable, but the contractor, architect, engineer should get the brunt of it. Greater than held liable since you've used this phrase in a few of your posts. I'm assuming it's not a typo. This correction isn't meant as criticism. Just to help you out since you seem to use it a lot. You mean liable, not libel. Libel is the crime of making false statements that damage someone's reputation. Liability is the legal responsibility for something and people are held liable when they fail to meet their legal liability. Greater than liable is the crime of making written false statements that damage someone's reputation. FTFY Most likely, several people could have prevented this. But it is unlikely that more than one will be punished. In October, school owner and head Monica Garcia Villegas was sentenced to 31 years in prison for culpable homicide. She was arrested after it was discovered that she had built a large apartment on top of the classrooms, the weight of which is thought to have contributed to the building's collapse. Thanks. I should have paid more attention. Paid beep boop robot I'm a spelling boy. What's the reason behind a 208-year sentence? Like 70 years would do the job. Is it just so that if he gets less time after X years he won't walk free? It's probably X years per death or multiple different charges. Math works out to 8 years for each of the 26 people. How many went to prison over the UK apartment fires? They're business and property owners. The law is different for them. S. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.